Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Control as part of our Sunday Fun Day playlist. Last time we were trying to tackle the refrigerator, which we are going to do. So let's get into it, shall we? I believe the old fridge. Here it is, the old fridge. Hello, Jesse. Yeah, all right, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm coming in. I am. I'm coming in. Thank you. Jesse? Oh. Now the fridge does something. This fridge, man. It's spooky. Okay. So we've got to try and defeat the fridge. If I look away, it hurts me. So do I have to assumedly keep my eyes on it then? I don't know. Where is it? Come on. It sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. No. Oh, there you are! Um... All right, that didn't really make much sense, did it? Okay. I think what we have to do is try and keep looking at it. But I can't understand it. Yeah. I mean, my thoughts. Oh, God. All right. Okay, out. Oof. Right. Prickly customer. It's fine. Okay, all right. All right. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Jeez, Louise. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Did we? Did we? Did we? Did we? Wait. There's no black pyramid here. Did we kill it? Let Oh, all right. The fridge seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? Well, I mean, we're a little worse for wear, but that's fine. Okay, uh, okay, let's make our way down to Langston then. <sighs> that took some doing, man. Jeez Louise. All right. Um, can we just hop down rather than taking the long way? Can we take the short route? I think we can. Because I have just decided we can. All right. Let's go. Good God. Ugh. Hey, dude. Go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. Mm -hmm. Poor Philip. He never did like fridge duty. Can't blame him. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You yeah. don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing 
was in there. It was huge. Had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. No. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Maybe. Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. True. The agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. Oh, great! The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. Okay, yeah, we asked him all of these things before, didn't we? Um... Okay, so... I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Yeah. Can we? All right. Let's 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 have a look. Um. Oh, did we pick something else up? What's these? Dodge efficiency, launch efficiency. Meh. Hmm. All right. Uh, assets. Missions. Speak with Emily. Burn the trash. Cleanse the and contain the Japanese paper lantern. Curiosity. All right, what's this? It's going to be about the fridge, isn't it? Okay, refrigerator procedures. Ha <laughs> ha. Arctic Queen AI 10-KE containment procedure. No unique procedures required. Description slash altered effect. An Arctic Queen brand electric refrigerator model from the 1960s. No cooling functionality. The door is decorated with crayon illustrations by Redacted. The illustrations cannot be removed from the item. All attempts have failed. The paper cannot be burned or torn. Background. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after it survived the collapse of a New York City's Grand Central Hotel, where it served as an appliance in apartment Redacted, rented by a man named Redacted. It became the subject of local infamy after surviving the building collapse undamaged. Mr. Redacted, who was out of the building at the time of the collapse, Redacted PM, retained ownership of the item until 1974 when the Bureau purchased the item through a false identity. Appendix. New altered effect has been observed. See file AI10.f for details. See file AI10.k for new containment procedures. Ha! Huh. Okay. Well, interesting. Hmm. The hotline? The former. Should we find out what the former's about? Okay. The former descent is back, not gone. It is previous disappointment. And it's not part of the board, us. We apologise, deny all knowledge. For the inconvenience. You will see slash face the former. Yep. It is stealing, linking altered items. It builds a competition, not us. You must espionage, destroy. When possible, inevitable. Do not believe, get hyped. About the former's lies slash ads. We provide offer better bonus package health plan. If you leave, you will be sorry, dead. And you will never work, exist. In this torn cosmic reality again. Yes. Okay, so kind of threatening. And rude. Let's be real. Alright. Well. Okay. So should we go and should we go and sort out these items? Are they in the Panopticon or the... Oh, I see. I told Salvador it was dangerous, but no. Paper lantern. Oh, wait. The traffic light the in the Panopticon. Okay, so there is one here that we could get. Um, but whereabouts is it? So we have to just find the thing. Okay. Hmm. Well. Oh, God. Really? Again? Can we just not play this game anymore? I'm, I'm kind of bored with you dudes. I mean, granted, you did give me some health before to bump me back up as to where I should be. Right. Hmm. So, is it just going to be stored in one of these somewhere, I suppose? That's a... 
That's not a traffic light either. Where would the traffic light be, do you suppose? I wonder what its number is. Thor's hammer, as I keep calling it. Um, What is three, I wonder? Could we get to three? Hmm, maybe. Let's go up to four. Maybe it's up on four with the other altered items. But look at all these things. Contain the cleanse and contain the Japanese paper lantern. Cleanse and contain the traffic light. Cleanse and contain the hand chair. What is a hand chair? Cleanse and contain the moving letters. A hand chair? I have never heard of a hand chair. If anybody knows before we find it what a hand chair is please do leave it in the comments below i don't think we'll find it in this episode because um i just don't think we'll have the time but we can hopefully get the traffic light i wonder if we'll face that thing again maybe all right uh traffic light um okay i don't think that's the traffic light this was the fridge fridge is all right now that is nothing oh Oops, oh god, I'm just destroying the gaff. This is another empty cell with nothing in it. Hmm. Can we not go in here now? Do we not have the fortified unit? Ooh. Can we not go in, really? Well, that's a little poopy. Alright. Oh, okay. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, like it hurt, bro. Anyone else? Oh, 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 where? Let's just get rid of that. wonder if it's over this way, maybe? Because this is where... The, um... I think this is where we came before, isn't it? So, oh! I see you, we all see you. Have some concrete. You might like it. Okay. Maybe we need to go down. Whoa! O up a level? Do we need to go up a level, maybe? Really? Oh, no. Well, poop. Hmm. Can we get up there? I think... Really? There you go. Alright. There we go. So. Hmm. Have a whole generator to the face. See how that suits you. Oh my god, really? Oh, looked like it hurt a bit, that. Hmm. Oh, looked like it hurt a lot, actually. Oh, that definitely hurt a lot, didn't it? All right. I suppose we could go up. How would we get up, I wonder? What's that weird noise? Ah, maybe we go up this way. Not a fan of the noise. All right, Jesse, fair, fair enough. Why are we, why are we, why? All right. Okay. Hmm. That's a Christmas tree. Must be on one of these levels, hey? Baby carriage. Hmm. Maybe the other way? I'd love to know where this traffic light is. Oof. What that was? Some kind of globe or something? Oh, hey. 
archives. Can we can we go in here? Is there something in here that's cool that we can see? We are a little worse for wear at the moment, but oh god. Any other takers? Alright. They dropped any health items for me? Yes, they have. Oh god, it's one of those things. Jeez Louise. And I have absolutely no clue what on earth I can do about that. Alright, let's... Um, book club. Philip. Huh. We'll just we'll just go back here, out of the way. Um, okay. Book Club Thoughts by Philip P. Unless you hooked me right away, it began with visceral dismemberment scenes and this great unsettling vibe created by the unexplained creature they named The Fix. As an avid horror fan, I loved how this story veered from the genre conventions into something a little more, for lack of a better word, weird. Everything felt familiar, but just a little off. The characters even comment on it, saying how their lives felt out of control, as if they were just programmed to perform the same empty actions over and over. Very meta. I loved the way they left the ending wide open. What happened to the guy ordered to watch those monitors for the rest of his life? Did the fix get him? Is he dead? Did he end up in the parallel reality with the others? We don't know, and that's okay. All in all, an interesting read. I'll give it a solid 4 out of 5. Points deducted for some of the clunky dialogue and unbelievable choices the characters made. I mean, who the hell would follow orders from their boss in the middle of such a horrible slaughter fest? But I guess I shouldn't demand much too much realism from a work of fiction. Hmm. Indeed. Alright, so. The question now becomes, how the hell are we going to deal with that stupid ball thing in there? Just trashing the joint. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's a little grim. What about this side? Is there anything in here? Okay, look at it. It's a it's a crazy thing. Sphere of death. Ball of death. Anything else? No. Alright. Maybe maybe we go up and see what we can see up there. Maybe there's a something. There must be a means to actually defeat those things, mustn't there? They wouldn't just put them in here otherwise. We are. Hmm. I mean, it's literally just trash in the joint. I mean, I don't really know what I can possibly do about it, to be quite frank. Hmm. Maybe we can run across the top. What's this way? Anything? I say it's just a ball of death whizzing round at god knows how many miles an hour Ooh, hello can we go in here oh now we're talking in here anything for us to read or figure out or no wow really that's a little poopy oh wait what's in here Anything? Nothing. Wow. That's a little pants, isn't it? Okay, ball of death. Continuing its rounds. That's fine. I don't think we can get in there. I don't think we have the clearance. No, we don't. God bless it. Well. I am Confucian. We may end up having to um, leave this area because... I don't really see what we're supposed to do about it. Never mind, at least we came in and had a look, a little peep. There's something over there, isn't there? Ball of death is battling a creature. Huh. All right, well, never mind. We came into the archives and had a look, and there was precious little in there that was of interest to us. So never mind. 
Here we go. Ooh, ooh God. Careful, Jesse, careful. And then up there. Right. Hmm. Okay. So this is th three. So assumedly we can get on to three somehow. Ah, here we go. Must be on here. No other place for it. So it's not in there. Traffic light. Nothing in there either. Nothing in there either. What? What the hell? That's a surfboard, maybe? Hmm. Well, is there only one? Maybe we can go over this way, I suppose. Just kind of sneak our way around. Oh god, okay. There we are. 616 fortified. Ha! Huh. Well, poop. Oh! Engine 2. There we are. Get back down to here. And back onto 3. Okay. Hmm. Or, no, this is 1 up to 2, isn't it? So, we've had a look in there. We can't get in there. Hmm. I wonder if it has something to do with this thing in the middle. Maybe. Okay. Let's get over here. Oh god, Jesse, please. Jeez, please. Alright. So if we go up. Maybe. Maybe it's up here. Let's have a look. Okay. All right. Good God. There we are. Lovely. Oh, shut up. Shut up. You shut up. Alright. Hmm. If we go up, so now we're on four. Oh, like it hurt, mate. So can we go up again? Maybe. Ah ha ha, maybe. Any more of these things? Okay, we're on. do with some of that health, couldn't we? Oh, God. You suppose we could fly over? Get it? Oh, God. I did myself there, didn't I? Very foolish. Never mind. Oh, okay. So we're back up at the top. Maybe, should we maybe go and speak to Emily? That might be a good idea. Let's go and speak to Emily and just see... Exactly what's going on with um, Dylan as well. Okay, so what's oh, this? God. She have to write everything in her made-up gibberish code. Fuck. Put a record on jukebox token. Oh, cool. 
Um. Who are you? Oh, you're the, the what's it dude. Okay, can we talk to you? I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places. Like bad pennies. Oh. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. You'd think. Does it have any good what is that woman doing in the background? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, we get a free trip to the formation. The formation? What's that? That sounds ominous. Mm. Why does it send you there? Uh, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Hmm. Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. Oh. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have grown back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. Oh. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Put in the token and enjoy the ride. Um, okay, well, we'll, yep. Um, let's, well, let's go and speak to Emily. Too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. All right, dude. No need to get, no need to get, um, weird about it. Jukebox tokens can be constructed at control points or earned through bureau alerts, board countermeasures, expeditions, and defeating the elite enemies. Well, okay. Emily! Let's have a combo. Oh, hello. Oh, more stuff. Look. All right. How did Darling create it? Research and records. Speech analysis. Oh my. Analysis of the hiss threat, part three. Part three. What about part two and part one? Okay, this is probably part two over here. Let's 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 have a look. Is this part two? Ah, there you go. Did we read part one? Let's have a look. Hmm. Um. Linguistic ability, speech analysis. We did, we did, we did. Okay, so, analysis of the hiss threat, part two. Confidential, summary. Researchers were sent to transcribe the recursive chant repeated by the hiss entities. In the interest of safety, this was done with the non-aggressive floating hiss entities. However, no distinction between this repeating phrase and the one repeated by the more violent hiss entities has been observed. What is the purpose of this repeated string of words? Is this how the hiss corrupts individuals? Does the chant produce a physical effect? Is it a message? An incantation? We were able to record a first-hand recitation of the chanting. See the re corresponding audio record. Oh, there's an audio record? Refer to file redacted for full report. Okay. Uh, and then speech analysis. Analysis of hiss threat part three, confidential summary. If we understand the hiss to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agreed upon term for their vocalizations, is an effort to express that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences if the incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word used is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You want must want these waves to drag you away. Are we the you the hiss is referring to? Does the hiss believe humanity, possibly all non-hiss life, wants to join it, to be consumed by it? Is that its goal? The second most used words are through and time. Is this possibly the hiss stating how they arrived here, or an indication of its age? There is clear intention in the words. Dismissing the incantation as nonsense, as some of my colleagues recommended, is beyond idiotic. Refer to redacted for full report. Hmm. So, yeah, does this thing kind of believe we all want to be part of it? Or, oh my god, there's more. Okay, what's this? Timeline of events. Ooh. Timeline of events. Analysis of his part, his threat part Four. Oh wow. Summary. To examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behaviour. 
Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of lack of reliable communications between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it becomes possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that a timeline may help answer. How did the HIS get past the internal lockdown? How does HIS resonance advance through space, deliberately or uniformly? What is their ultimate goal? The outside world? A cross-dimensional destination? Refer to redacted for full report. Hmm. Very interesting, Emily. Very interesting thoughts, my dear. I assume it's Emily that's writing these because they seem to keep appearing when she's here. So, all right, Emily, let's let's talk, Chuck. No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. But where? Oh, but am I too late? How is he? Where is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but yeah. it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Yeah. Oh, God. Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Yeah. Jesse, be careful. Oh, we will, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Well. All right, so. We need to go to the upper level. Where is the upper level? Well, it's in here, obviously. Um, Good ah, to back. up these stairs. Executive affairs, maybe? Okay. Over here, maybe. Apparently the director restored HRA production. They're already getting other survivors out of safe rooms. Yeah. Great. Um maybe I can get back to my office soon. What? Oh. More files. Pope's promotion. Oh. Emily, yes, Emily. Mm. Federal Bureau of Control. Employee report. Review. Dr. Darling has personally recommended Miss Pope for a promotion based on her work ethic and assistance in advancing many ongoing research matters. See research reports redacted for breakthroughs resulting from her work. Recommendation. According to her colleagues, Pope has displayed a keen eye for detail and a quick grasp of paranatural concepts. She is professional and diligent, though some of her co-workers complain of social disinterest. The review committee approves this recommendation and promotes Miss Pope to the position of research specialist. Well done, Emily. Get that promo, girl. So, where is this upper level Dylan thing? Thank you. Saw something else here. Ooh. Collective unconscious. My God. So much stuff to read. Wow. Examination of paranatural topics. Collective unconscious. Summary. Collective unconscious is defined as a form of unconscious that is shared in all human minds. From this arises unconscious knowledge linking us through our ancestral heritage. See Jung Report, page 12 to 34. Through this collective unconscious, we unknowingly attribute a series of images and archetypes to all elements of our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our species and culture. This internal belief in the power of images shared by a massive population is redacted in the creation of altered items and objects of power. The sheer amount of redacted exuded is attracted to the best representation of that image, imbuing a single object with massive amounts of redacted. Theoretically, places of power could likewise be formed by the simple power of sustained collective belief. Refer to file 5-41-7532 for full report. So are they saying that objects of power or altered items have come from our sort of collective unconscious thought through here? Oh, can we? Can we get in here? We can get in here. Look at the, this carpet is what? Okay, it's not carpet. It's post-it notes. 
What? The post-it note room. My God, look at this. Jeez, Louise, somebody went mad with it. Mad with post-it note power. All right. Um, oh, did we not pick that up? Profes oh, personal mods full. <sighs> ah, never mind. Okay. Sticky note complaint. Oh, God. Okay. To whom it may concern, in case you are not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I will be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or my home phone. Sincerely, Jay Bozer, Vice Chief of Staff. I mean, yeah! Your post-it note went insane! Good lord. I mean, wow. Bloody hell. Alright. What on earth, man? Bureau funding? To all executive staff, I know there is some concern regarding our operations exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then we will be granted by the US Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us as if we weren't there. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Regards, Zachariah Trench, Director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Well, cool. But where is this upper level? Let's have a look. Hmm. See, it's showing back out here. Central Executive. No. Well, where is he? Must be here somewhere. We'll collect the law on our way back round. I just want to know where, where, in here, do you suppose? Hey, dude. <gasps> there he is. Happiness comes. You are a worm through time. The thunders hold us towards you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is made right. Leave your insides by the door. Push the thing through the surface into the wet. You've always been a new youth. Why this is betrayal? We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Um, okay. Is Dylan, like, possessed or something? Can we get in there? Can we do something? Hello? You are a worm through time. Shit. The thunder's home distorts you. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Yeah. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Oh, God. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this to be true. Can you stop that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. No. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. Oh, creepy as anything. They sound good. They make me feel good. Oh, God. Don't you want to say them, too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! Oh, no. You can't Of a copy, of a copy, of a copy. Stop it! Orange field. Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a pause, we 
build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. Oh, God. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. When your worm is a tune, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. Yeah. Ugh. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw mm. what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Yep. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a one through time. You are a one through time. Jeez Louise. Oh, we got clearance level six. Absolutely awesome. Alright, well that was not very enjoyable, but well there you have it, folks. Dylan is well, maybe not Dylan anymore. Kind of creepy too. Anyway, next time we will um, maybe try and cleanse some of these objects and uh, make our way down to find this projector. See what we can do to stop this whatever's going on going on. So until next time, be safe, be good. And look after yourselves.